I started riding, I want to say 16. I got three older sisters. The youngest of the three sisters, you know, I'm really close to. Um, she's actually the one, first one that actually got me on a bike. She's the first one to put me on two wheels and just push me down the hill and let me go. And whether I crashed or whatever, you know, she helped me back up and pushed me again. BMX probably controls most of my life. I can't, I can't really see a day without it, whether I'm riding on a bike, working on a bike, or looking at a bike, pretty much like completes the whole day. I'm not like one of those big time pros that get to travel everywhere, you know, I just like to come out and have fun and, and, and you know, me just coming out, putting my music on, having fun and, you know, doing my own thing is uh, such a big entertainment on other people. get on the bike and just, whatever I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do it. If I fail on something, I'll either come back to it later or I'm just gonna beat myself up trying to get it. I've had a few uh, bad crashes and it, uh, when I had my worst crash, I didn't, I used to not wear a helmet and it, you know, it really, it took me out for a while and uh, I wear my helmet as much as I can now and that's usually my first point is, you know, get a helmet. It, you, you may seem like you're good enough to not need it, but you know, it's gonna be that one day. That's why it's called an accident. You can't control it. Just take the right steps. Don't try to push yourself too hard. Don't, uh, don't try to learn something before you know the basics of it. You know, just work your way up. Just start from the bottom and, and just keep moving up. If you, you might move faster than other people. You might, you might have to go back a little bit to learn something, but just uh, take the right steps.